2024 is going to be an absolutely insane year. I don't think anyone really understands. And this week report will also be our yearly predictions. So before we get into all that, let me indulge myself for a minute. I've been redoing the office, having a blast, kind of. I bought a bunch of stuff and then realized that I didn't like it and ended up having to return some of it and not liking a few renditions, which is why everything behind me is completely empty. But I think I do know what I want. And in preparation for doing more videos than ever in 2024 and more live streaming, I've updated the camera added a second camera and I'm far from done yeah this is gonna be awesome but enough horsing around let's get to the serious stuff this year is going to be absolutely crazy making predictions for 2024 is going to be nearly impossible if any of these are actually right I likely just got lucky remember what we do is not reliant on getting predictions correct or even necessarily being right it's all about reacting to what does occur okay that is 80 percent of trading just even think about the backdrop for this year it's an election year election years are typically very strong years even if you average it out with some pretty outlier years like 08 you get about an average of seven percent returns for the s p 500 but i think it would be prudent to be a little worried about this election year one third of americans still believe the 2020 election was fake and that was without rampant deep AI fake videos and overall conspiracies and mistrust. I mean, it's a bit of a mess. And on top of that, we're kicking the year off with almost an all-time high on the S&P 500. And the NASDAQ has literally had its best year since 1999. And what happened after 1999? It's described as nothing short of breathtaking, a points drop never before seen on the US markets. This closing bell might as well have been an alarm. So savage was the selling. Traders and investors shell-shocked. Bad day. Bad day for you? Another one, yeah. No, too many in a row and no one wants to be that guy trading and investing is a lot like chess before you worry about making grandmaster level moves you have to first not make bad moves aka not lose money and then let the profits roll in and we're looking at the market right now yes it looks very bullish but it's not confirming an actual broad bull market and if you've been watching the weekly report we've been talking about this a lot we see big moves out of the big companies and then the little guys are continuing to lag yes it did do some broadening out throughout december but it still is not a confirmation of a broad rally which means despite the incredible price action we've seen this still doesn't look like a very healthy rally and it wouldn't be shocking to see this turn into one of these secular bear markets where you do get these monstrous rallies that may even create new tops, but then roll over. And my first prediction for this year is that rollover. I think we're going to see deep retracement of the S&P 500 to kick the year off. And then I think the bulls actually have their day in the sun. I expect a full Fed pivot rate cuts, maybe three to five rate cuts this year causing the market to rally and potentially even finishing at all time new highs. And for the first time ever, not since making videos, but since being a trader and investor and bullish on China, the sentiment here is so deeply buried in the dumpster that even a trash panda couldn't find it. And that has made me finally bullish. Now don't misinterpret what I'm saying here. I would never be an investor in China. Anything five, 10 year time horizon, communism doesn't work dummies. It never has. And and the likelihood that China descends into the chaos as it historically has after Mao leaves the presidency is exceptionally high. And we've talked about this in the last few weekly reports. I've kind of gone back and forth around Bitcoin because this has been some interesting price action we've seen recently. But it looks like we've got the nail in the coffin. I think a gut punch is headed for Bitcoin. It's going to head down to 3,700 or 3,200 before it wildly outperforms the S&P 500 into the end of the year, well above 50,000. That's my prediction. Coinbase, on the other hand, is going to be even worse off than Bitcoin. I think this stock could lose about 50% of its value over the course of the year as more Bitcoin affiliated products enter the market and cause funds to diversify. And now let's talk about Uber. And I could be early to this prediction, but I think Uber is completely f***ed. 
I think they lose about 50% of their market cap pretty much overnight on the release of self-driving, which I think could come out in 2024. Now this might be completely off base, but I think it's gonna be a lot like AI where there was nothing and then boom, it was everywhere. I also think that'll be paired with a lot of different legal battles about self-driving. Who's at fault? The car crashes. Is the driver still at fault or is now the company at fault? What does that mean for insurance? Are people gonna be okay with a robot robot crashing a car rather than a person crashing a car, even if the robots have less accidents overall. Will there now be mandates that only robots can drive because people are so bad at driving? I don't know. It's going to be a complete mess. And that's not just for self-driving. I expect lots of legal battles over AI as well. And I think Apple may actually surge ahead and be one of the leaders of AI starting in 2024. And if not, I think Apple might be in some trouble when it comes to producing more and more growth now this is still a blue chip stock they even own a large portion of their own stock so i wouldn't expect any big crashes here you know any systemic risk within the indexes because of apple but i do think that this company could be hitting a turnover period if they can't capture a leading position in ai and now let's talk about tlt our long-term treasury bonds i was super long on these at the bottom when everyone was saying that bonds would be bearish for the next 20 years i'm now expecting a big pullback now i've closed all my bullish calls i'm still a shareholder on this and i'm expecting this to hit new highs by the end of the year but i do think that we're going to have some fears about inflation coming back and that will cause the vivid the fed to kind of go back and forth on what their standing is for the market probably a lot of conflicting ideas within the fed officials and my last final prediction is that this will be the year of robotics I think this will be the next big hype train that everyone will pile into. I think Tesla will be the leader and it will be crazy. Maybe. So overall, short the S&P 500, go long, Baba and IWM. Keep an eye on robotics. I think they'll be big. Biotech as well, by the way. Last year's prediction was that biotech would outperform everything. Then AI took off, completely took over all narratives and became all encompassing. But we did get a rally out of biotech into the end of the year, which was nice because my other big prediction last year was that uranium would do exceptionally well. And it did, but I did a lot of selling there. So at the end of the year, I'm just holding all this biotech like, is this uh, is this, is this going to move or not? It, it did, which was great. And those rallies were supported by major breakthroughs which I think could carry over into 2024. So it's probably worth keeping an eye on those as well. I'm going to hold them for the next 10 years. So it's whatever to me. If it happens next year, cool. If it takes another five, whatever, well, I'm here for the ride. And I'm sure in 2024, we'll probably get an increase in geopolitical events. This will make cybersecurity also more appealing. I just find it all exceptionally boring. I mean, just so crazy boring that it's like hard for me to pay attention because I don't really understand. And unlike a lot of these other topics where I do a bunch of research, I just can't bring myself to care all that much. It is what it is, you know. I'll probably fix that. I'll probably do some research live on YouTube for everyone to kind of follow along with and in the cybersecurity sector. Maybe that'll be the plan. I think a lot of people don't know where to start when they do research. You can watch me do it live as well as some live trading. You know, boring days will be research days. On more active days, I'll do live trading. How about that? How about that? Sounds like a plan. Make that a New Year's resolution. And that's going to be it for my yearly prediction video. I think we covered it all. Probably not. Probably missed some stuff, but what you going to do? I got to go party. It's New Year's, baby. But make sure you don't get too messed up because we got to get back to work tomorrow.